So on a very good day, a bride to be contacted me and she wanted to get a similar outfit like this for her wedding day. And so I set out to work. I got everything that will be needed for the outfit and I did my job. I would love you to watch this video from the beginning to the end to see the process of getting this done and to also rate what I made for her. What's popping? Kill and share. Again, the name, me. Eh? Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It is your favorite Achalu Godera Gizel on the microphone. If you are new to my channel, I am Chidera Gizel, a Nigerian lifestyle vlogger living in Oberi, Imo State. Welcome to my channel. So, you guys, today is a fashionable day. Yeah, today is a fashion day. I must commend you guys. You guys are like, you guys really enjoy my fashion videos and the outcome, the views, the comments, everything. I've just been encouraging me that okay, 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 okay. I can now be balancing everything. Maybe if I post two lifestyle, I post one fashion, whatever. Yeah, because you guys are so supportive. Anyways, you guys, today is a beautiful day. I'm so excited. I'm so happy because I'm going to be making um a bridal dress. So it's for her first outing, the first outing of the bride. Um, her second outing, so I'm going to be making it, but maybe I'll make a separate video for it. So this is everything I'm going to be using for this outfit. This is Indian George. Yeah, Indian George. That style they used this type of Indian George. So I got it. Then this is um breast cup. Um these are feathers, they're on the steps of the flare. It has three steps, like you can see in the picture. Then this is satin for the third step. This is lining for the inner part of the cloth, cotton lining. I'm going to be using stone zip. We're not using a um, tie tie method. We're using stone zip for the cloth. Then this is peplum stay. I was so impressed when I saw this strongest peplum stay in the market because the peplum stay I was used to before is they make it with paper and most times when you wash the cloth it's going to go down but this is not paper i don't know what to call this material but until eternity this is not going to go down this is not going to spoil like take a look at it look how i'm doing to it and it's not tearing if it's a pep the old peplum stay i used to know it will be tearing but this one is not tearing and i feel it's going to stand very very well and i'm still going to be making use of quinoline I bought a um, red quinoline and I've gotten white but I bought the red one because I'm making um, I'm making a baby's gown and that baby's gown is red and the quinoline is going to be showing in that gown so I just decided to get a color that I can use on the inside of this one and I can still use on that baby gown I don't know if you get like using one stone to kill two beds so that's basically it for this so I'm going to be cutting this right now so at this point i started to cut on this day i was so angry that i was cutting on the floor because i paid someone to get a table done for me and it was already like three weeks and the table was not yet at home so i was pissed anyways i had to do what i had to do and i cut the lining first and i used like i used the lining as a pattern to cut the main fabric and all of that and after that the weather was so somehow so the lighting changed and that's why everything the video quality reduced anyways here's the mess i made from cutting and after this i wrapped up everything for the day and i continued with the cloth on another day hey guys i'm done with the back of this cloth this is the back Although I've not um, done, I've not like um, put the zip inwards like this, but I'm just done with the back. Hey guys, so this is the third day since I started this cloth. It's not like this cloth is not something like it's not like this cloth is something that I can't I couldn't have done faster, but I've just had some things restraining me. Like we have not had power supply for a long time, so I wanted us to put on the gen. 
at night so that I would iron everything that needed ironing because I got to a point where I couldn't continue. I just had to iron before I continue so that the cloth would not be rough. So right now I've ironed the flares and I'm just going to continue. Today is majorly for the flare. I'm just going to cop um, complete the other the upper part. I'll couple it. I had to iron it before coupling it. I'll just couple it and then I'm going to handle the flare. So here's the Here's the flare that I ironed. You can see that it's ironed like it has gone to the peplum stay. The material has gone to the peplum stay. I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the edges so it will be better when I'm turning it. I'll just turn it with the lining. And after that, I think we're still going to have to put on the gen. I will have my start to put on the gen this morning. So that after turning it with the lining, I'm still going to iron it before attaching the feathers and attaching it to the cloth. That's a lot of talk. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but you guys shall watch me. So let's just continue. large extra large even extra small oh yeah matters <laughs> guys i'm done with the upper part of this cloth I'm done with the upper part you can see it so i'm going to start working on the flare right now and when i'm done working on the flare then i'm going to be attaching it to the lower part of this one this is how i make my dresses that have flared down. I always love to finish the upper part, like sew the full gown. Then I'll start handling the flare. This is the lining and I've pinned it to the main cloth. See the main cloth here. So I've pinned it so that it's not giving me a problem when I'm sewing it. So I'm just going to sew it around. So now I'm done turning it. So I'll just turn it inside out and I would have to iron it before I continue. I'll do the second step, then I'll iron them before I attach them to the base. You see, without ironing, you can see how it looks. So I actually have to iron it and actually push the lining in this way. I'll iron it and push the lining in like this. So it's be like this, so the material will not be, the lining will not be showing on the outside of the cloth so after ironing this was how it looked you can see that i successfully pushed the lining inside with the iron after that i attached the feathers to the lower part of the flare and after attaching it here's how the cloth looked like the lower part then i joined the lower part to the upper part and Tada! Here is our gown. Yeah, so you guys, here is my bride's outfit. She's going to be going out for her traditional marriage. Like this is going to be her first outing for her traditional marriage. Um, I don't know the name to give this dress. Should I give it the Dera dress or the Amaka dress? Yes, Amaka dress is suitable for it. It's a beautiful dress, and Amaka means so beautiful. Yeah, so this is the Amaka bridal dress, and there's a way some tailors name their clothes like my friend esther treated feathered ruffled flared brighter traditional gown like the way this my friend comes up with names for clothes eh? <laughs> oh my god anyways you guys do let me know what you think about this from the thumbnail of this picture i put what she ordered and also at the beginning of this video do you think this comes close to what she ordered and the picture of what she ordered is still going to be at the end of this video so you are going to compare it for me i think it comes close to it i'm not the tailor that made the initial one and i feel the most important thing about what you order and what you get is that they should be very they should be very similar and what you're getting should be so pretty too it should be as pretty as the other one it may not be the same the same the same yeah but it should be as pretty and so close like 90 something percent similar to the other one so do you think this is up to 90 percent similar to the other one for me i think it is i'd love to know what your thoughts are about this dress in the comment section can you wear this for your traditional marriage? Anyways, you guys, this is going to bring us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like some of you watch and you don't subscribe. What is your aim? What do you go gain if you don't subscribe? Please subscribe. I have more fashion videos coming up. Share this video. Let's move this ministry to the permanent site. And let's move my business to the permanent site to Watago. Yeah, leave a kind comment. And hopefully, 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 
i'm going to be seeing you in the next one for now bye kiss kiss love ya